I'm Jamie Lang. I'm director of technology at Ravinia Festival. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is keeping a connection to the way performances are experienced. And so in order to maintain the quality of experience, we really need to keep up with the times. If you go to a concert or sports stadiums or the airports in the United States, you, you will get internet access, but it's a touch and go. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And that was something that Ravinia just didn't want. Ravinia wanted to provide homogenous, consistent internet access for its users across the board. And that created some hardship from an engineering perspective, but the challenge was exciting. We've got a lot of ticket scanners at a lot of gates that are distributed throughout the park. For example, this is one of our main gates coming up, the Tyler Gate. Um, this is where people enter when they're coming in from the train. And people don't want to wait to be scanned in. So we've got to have a snappy internet connection. And uh, you know they don't really care about our technical problems. They just want to get in quickly. Similarly, we've got our food carts out in the lawn and we want to process credit cards real time. So we've got to build an infrastructure that's going to support credit card transactions in a secure manner. And as people use the internet more and more as part of their daily lives, we're really seeing the hockey stick spike in data usage. Because Ravinia required the solution to accommodate 15,000 plus guests, and because they wanted to provide equal access no matter where you're at at the venue, we needed to be really creative. I'm Preston. I helped implement this Wi-Fi project here at the Ravinia Festival. Here we have an Aruba access point providing internet access down to the guests in the park below us. This is one of over 50 access points we have throughout the park. What this is doing is making the Wi-Fi fast, consistent, and reliable for guests and staff alike all throughout the park. We had to rethink how we deploy wireless technologies not, a, not just from a design perspective, but for every area, every section. Are there trees? Are there buildings? Where are the areas of high concentration? How many people are actively sitting and participating in their venues? Three years ago, we planned out uh, providing coverage for everyone in the pavilion. One of the things we didn't know for sure about was whether or not the antennas would be able to penetrate the wire mesh that makes up the ceiling of the pavilion. So CrossRealms assisted us by getting a hold of the antennas from the manufacturer ahead of time, setting up a little test and making sure that everything was gonna work and it, and it worked great. The good news is here we are three, three years later and everything is still working wonderfully. Probably the best coverage you're gonna find in any seated venue anywhere in America. These directional antennas provide internet access directly down toward the guests and connect back to this Aruba access point, which then connects back to our high-speed internet connection. Over here, we have another wireless access point with providing internet access to the lawn below us. We have the directional antennas, and this is the, the access point itself. The outcome of it uh, speaks for itself. I mean, anytime you come to Ravinia and you switch on your wireless and you access and browse the internet, you're gonna have full coverage everywhere. As our customers' utilization of the Wi-Fi has increased, and as we've moved to more of a pure cloud setup for our servers, CrossRealms has helped us build in the redundancy that allows us to not be so worried if one of our ISPs go down. Redundancy is something that you've gotta build all the way through the network stack, and CrossRealms has been integral in building that out. One of the best parts, I think, is uh, where we started seeing opportunities for saving money. Because look, at the end of the day, you could brute force a solution and just create really expensive solution to satisfy them. But that wasn't an option here. We had to be creative and we had to save money where possible, which we did. I originally got to know CrossRealms because I called up Cisco and was looking for advice on uh, firewall configuration. Because I'd been doing it all myself, I just wanted to have an outside party come in and, and vet my work and make sure I was doing it okay. In the process, I got to know the CrossRealms way of thinking and I just really liked it. I get barraged with tech consulting companies wanting to provide services and finding somebody who's got the same mental posture as you is a little bit difficult. And what I love about 
Cross Realms is, uh, their dedication is to the quality of the solution, not to selling a product. So I never feel like I have to worry about the motivations of Cross Realms when it provides a recommendation. It's never a question. Cross Realms is always looking at my best interest. And if there's a service that they think would be better provided by somebody else, they'll tell me about it right away. All the time we're worried about data breaches and hackers and system outages. And to be able to work with somebody who's got the same mindset and who has subject matter expertise is a tremendous load off my mind. We just don't have the um, freedom to shrug our shoulders if our internet connection goes down or if our connectivity goes down. So having Cross Realms around is a, is a huge source of support and comfort.